Well, hello everyone. Welcome back, or welcome for you first timers to No More Excuses podcast. This is your hostess, Sandy Ballard. Sandy with an I. If you're not connected with me on social media, please do. But also, something new is a Google forum. Um, I've been looking for a way to be able to connect with you guys more, um, be able to ask more questions, allow for more questions and input and support. So I've created a uh, Google group that's called No More Excuses Podcast Listeners. Uh, if you can't find it or aren't sure if it's the right one, just email me, sballard, B-A-L-L-A-R-D, at growingforward.biz, B-I-Z, and I can add you. All right. Have you shared this podcast yet? If not, why aren't you? Why are you keeping me to you? Please help someone else by sharing. I love how it's growing, and especially Spotify. I mean, I'm on Spotify now, and it's just blowing me away how many downloads there are. So it's pretty cool. So anyway, the next four weeks, we're going to kind of create momentum, generate some action with this forum. Uh, my hope and goal of, with that is to help you guys, like I said, ask more questions, get more interactive, and have more of a safe place to to do those things, ask questions and connect and things like that. But um, I understand I ask a lot of you guys each week. And so this next four weeks, it'll be just like, let's break it down into your how. If you don't have my uh, current goal setting workshop or worksheet, do so. I'm going to upload it into the group, but it also is on my website, growingforward.biz. Down um, on the homepage, there are some work uh, worksheets that you can download for free. So if you haven't done that, do it now. And you'll... Um, be able to apply these these things we're talking about, <clears throat> especially over the next four weeks, to be able to help you get to those prof professional and personal goals. Okay? So, on the worksheet, the big goal, you know, who do you want to become? You know, what do you want to be known for? And then there's a way to, you know, I have it listed. If you're looking at it, it's one, two, three. There's three... Um, there's one side for pro professional bleh, professional goals and one side for personal goals. Three of each. Let's keep it simple. You write down 10 things or 25 goals you have this year. Well, that's probably too many. And some of those are probably tasks, not goals. So right now, in a sense, it's, the end of, it's actually the beginning. It's February 5th. You should be checking on your progress, your 30-day goal now. But maybe you're just filling it out today. That's fine. What matters is that you're just getting started and you're you're doing it. You know, if you know, because February, March is usually where people start dropping off, giving up on goals. Well, because they lose a step, they get stopped by um, not living by their New Year's resolution, that decision you intend to keep. We all slip a little bit. It's like a cheat day on a diet. I mean, who cares? Put put your big girl panties on and. Do it all over tomorrow. Um, you know, a, a, a cheat day or a, what, a slack day in my world are healthy. I mean, you got to kind of F off a couple times, right? I mean, as long as you your slack day doesn't turn into weeks and months, you know, everyone needs a little break. It's kind of what the weekends are for, but not many people really have weekends anymore, right? So how are you achieving your goals? How have you achieved them in the past? Perhaps you're listening because you haven't. Or do you just put them in your head and never let them out and evaluate it at the end of the year? Do you just give up by June because there's no progress? Or say there's always next year? Well, no more. You're going to stop that shit right now because that's insanity and no way to live. you got to live a fun and successful life, right? Let's all get to it. We're going to break down the worksheet here. All right, so again... Overall goal, what do you want to be known for at the end of the year? Who do you want to become? And then, what are three goals? You know, and again, <clears throat> I've talked about big-ass goals. So what are some, some goals that will stretch you and that you really, really, really want to personally achieve this year? Okay? You know, is it building your tribe? That's one of the things I accomplished last year. <clears throat> is it lose weight? I mean, it's always at the top of everybody's mind, right? 
Mine is actually keeping my weight down. So, um, but it, you know, and I, like I said, I did build my tribe. So what are some other personal things too? Um, year ago I did a, a, a workshop, a goal setting workshop with a, a group company. And one of the guys said, I'm going to drive a race car. Well, you know, he's like, it's expensive. You know, one of those, you can buy a, um, an experience, a race car driving experience. So there was ways you could do that. Okay. So think about three things. And then on the worksheet, the A, B, and C are the how. Okay. So if you need to lose weight, one of its a goal isn't getting back in the gym. A goal is what's, what do you want to get back in the gym to do? Okay. So if it's keep weight down or lose X number of pounds, what can you do? Well, get back into the gym. For me, it's watch portions. I just love food so freaking much. I could just, I can't stop myself most of the time. So it's also sign up for races because if I sign up to run in a race, I have more, um, the, well, I'll train more and I have more accountability because I have to do that race. I have to be prepared. If it is, like the guy said, to run or to drive that race car, is it to, you're going to save some money. So you have to save 20 bucks a week or whatever. So how are you going to do that? Um, is it look for a Groupon because they are on Groupon. <clears throat> uh, he actually found it at a silent auction item at a, an event. So those are the A, B, and C. So those are the how you're going to achieve that goal. Same thing on the professional side. What are you going to do professionally? Three things. And some of these things can tie in together, okay? Because you'll see what happens professionally, whether you own your own business or you work for a company or whatever it is professional, professionally, they're all affected by personal, your personality, your personal life, you know, because life gets in the way of our career and our businesses, right? So what are you going to do? <clears throat> As I mentioned, mine was write my third book, and it needs to be out by August. Yep. So A, B, and C is, well, block out time to write and carry that book, uh, the notepad with me all the time. So as I maybe have a client in time in between clients or a client cancels, I can open that bad boy up and just start thinking about that. Okay. So a lot of us professionally will have increased income or increased number of clients, perhaps launch a new product or service. So again, the A, B, and C are the how, okay? At the bottom of the sheet, to start helping you create the momentum, like earlier I said, what you, uh, right now it's beginning of February, you should be looking back at your 30-day goal. So there's a, down at the bottom it says 90 days, 60 days, 30 days. So what should you be doing? Or what should you have done? Or what can you do in the next 30 days, next 60 days, and next 90 days? And then... If you're looking at the worksheet, there's a thing called recurring, recurring actions, creating habits. So if one of your things, uh, let's just do the, the weight thing, because again, that's so common. If you, your 90 day goal is to lose say 10 pounds, what are you going to do daily, weekly, and monthly to do that? You know, is it gym three times a week or work with a trainer or yoga or implement something? Is it um, you're going to weigh yourself three times a week or is it you're going to run, whatever it is. And you don't have to run to lose weight. So much more you can do. And how does that align with your word of the year? All right. So mine professionally is to get my third book out. Like I just said, something about keeping my, I'm going to block out time to write and I'm going to carry that with me as a habit um, to just sit down and be able to write. But it's also, how is that aligning me, aligning with my word of the year, which is bold? Well, it'll create that opportunity. Much like two years ago, three, two years ago, three years ago, my first book came out from there to here. I applied to speak at a conference and I hadn't finished the book yet. Well, I'm speaking at a conference in August, not necessarily on the book, but I, it's, it's the same conference that I spoke at when my first book came out. So I want to have that third book done. So within 
30 days. Actually, my 60-day goal is to have the book started, a good chunk of it. And like I said, I'll just block out time. So that's my one day a week, two days a week, I'll be writing. All right. So a lot of these things sound, I mean, when I'm talking that, through this, it sounds a little daunting. But if you have the worksheet, you can go back through and do that. You're going to have challenges. You're, you're going to have, you know, and checking this. Oh, another thing. <clears throat> How are you going to create the accountability? How are you going to check your progress? Well, I need you to put on your calendar, whether it's the end of the month, the, say the last Friday of the month, or the first Monday of the month, however you work. Put a reminder on your calendar and sit down with your sheet or sit down with a coach. You know, I have coached people via Skype and FaceTime over the phone as well. If so if you're not in town, we can't do it. You can also email me. But let's work on this. And so every day, that's how, or every day, every month, you're going to sit down. There's going to be a reminder, and you're going to sit down. You're going to look through this. You're going to say, how am I doing? Because, again, there are going to be months where you're great, man. You nailed it. Easy peasy. Then the next time you look at it, you maybe took two steps forward and five back. But what happened? So if you don't take the time to step off the crazy train, the hamster wheel of life, and look, because a lot can happen in 30 days, good and bad. And sometimes that's where you'll notice the frustration, you know, the crap that's going on in your life, all right? So you, that's the biggest thing you have to do. So join the forum. No more excuses forum. Email me, sballard at growingforward.biz, because I want to see this sheet. I want you to complete this goal sheet and email me. And if you are a good student and you already have your sheet completed, Email me how you did on your 30-day progress. Email me what your 30-day goal was. Email me your sheets. Just get off your ass and email me your sheets, okay? And then let's get this Q&A going. Let's get some more deeper stuff happening in this forum. And let's help make 2018 the year of growth, all right? And if you do need help with the sheet, let me know. We'll figure out a way to work together and make it happen. Have a great week. I look forward to hearing from you. Cheers.